What's up, bodybuilding fans? Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle news update. The IFBB 2019 Japan Pro is in the history books now. And Juan Morel has ended the year as the final victor in an IFBB Open Men's Bodybuilding Competition. It will requalify him for the 2020 Mr. Olympia Competition. And it will put, I think, about $16,000 into his pocket. So this was a very, I guess you could say, productive trip for Juan out into the uh, Japanese countryside. Uh, our good friend Mila Sarshev actually uh, called in to our radio show, Heavy Muscle Radio, this week. Gave us a recap right from the streets of Japan. He was outside the, <laughs> outside the Godzilla Hotel there. And he gave us his opinion. And his... his Initial impression was that pretty much no one in this top five group was in terrific condition. And it could be that it's the end of the year. It could be that the flights were very long. It could be that people are just getting tired, you know, and they're just not able to, you know, bring that conditioning, you know, moving into November. Or it could just be that, you know, guys are just not dieting as hard nowadays. I don't know what it is. I mean, we saw a terrific Cedric McMillan two weeks ago, I believe it was, at the Romania Pro. And the Cedric McMillan we saw, you know, here in Japan was certainly not that same person. Or well, Juan Morel never would have beaten him. Juan came in here, I would say at 95%, not his best, but close. Conditioning, his, he's always got good conditioning. You know, his, his issue is, can I be full enough while I'm that conditioned? And I think it was, I think it was a good blend for him. He did enough. He unanimously won here. And I don't think anyone who has critiqued this show or I've talked to, said that Juan didn't deserve it. It wasn't the best Juan we've seen, but it was enough to win. And that's all you got to do is win. And I think Juan looked really good when he lost to that uh, Nathan DeAsher a couple weeks ago. And I thought that that was a travesty that they took that away from him, especially after he was winning after the pre And Nathan was third. So this was good vindication for Juan Morel. Uh, he's going to end the year on a positive note with a lot of momentum, a lot of money in his pocket from this post-Olympia tour. And I think it was one of his most successful years, I would think, in his entire career, which is great. That means Juan is still moving up. He's not moving down. And he's still making improvements. And he's capitalizing on the fact that he can do show after show after show. And that's what it's about. Milo said it himself. When Milo's competing, he did every single show. He's thought every if you missed one opportunity to compete, you, you were a fool. And Juan is taking that strategy and he is running with it. He's traveling all over the world, and he's winning shows, and he's putting money in his pocket, and he's making himself more popular and building his brand. Congratulations to Juan. And Cedric, look, you know what? Here's a guy who really couldn't compete before the Olympia. He had a lot of uh, military duties that he had responsibility for. He got the special invite to the Olympia. Didn't bring what we would have liked to see. But in the post-Olympia tour, he's been great. And, you know, he hasn't brought his best at every show, but he's brought enough to... To, to give the fans a good show and make them feel like they got their money's worth. So Cedric finishes second here. Regan Grimes, who's been, you know, he's probably the, the, the social media darling, I would say, just hasn't really impressed, at least me. Um, he didn't impress, I know, Milos or Chris Aceto with the conditioning level he brought here. But no one will deny this guy's got an awesome structure. He's wide. He's got all the tools he needs to really be a, a really good IFBB pro. Still needs to bring up the legs a little bit. But I think had he come in here a little more conditioned, he would have won the show. He could have walked away with it. And I think it was a missed opportunity for him. But hey, third place here, third place uh, in uh, Romania. This is a, a good showing for Regan Grimes. And I think uh, it was he has to count this as a positive good year for him. The question is now... Can he make improvements and come back in 2020 and really dominate? And I think he has the tool set to do it. Cody Montgomery, I call him the comeback kid here. Uh, you know, he had uh, three team national championships in a row. That's a record. His first NPC Open, you know, show he does. He wins the USA Championships, gets his pro card. His first pro show, less than a year later, does the Arnold Classic. You know, very good showing. Looks tremendous. And then he kind of has a, a fall, you know, maybe a mental, I'm not sure what I'm doing here type of thing. He does the 212 division because he wasn't big enough because he had taken some time off, didn't do as well as he would have liked. 
comes back here, back to his home in the open division, brings maybe the best conditioning in the whole show, I think. And he's about 220 pounds here. Does he need to be bigger? Yeah. If he wants to beat these top guys, he's going to have to come in 8 to 10 pounds bigger in my estimation. But conditioning wins shows. Conditioning wins top placings. And that's how Cody Montgomery finishes in fourth here. And I think you can make a case for him maybe being as high as second. I don't know. Because his conditioning was that good compared to some of these other guys. You know, he looked like a piece of iron or steel in that lineup. And that's the look you got to bring. You can't worry about your weight or your size. If you could put on 8 to 10 pounds in this offseason, he's only 24 years old. It's amazing. It seems like he's had a huge long career because he started so young. But the truth is he's got his whole career ahead of him. If he could put on a good 8 to 10 pounds, I think he's going to be very dangerous. Comeback kid. Absolutely in my book. On win finishes in that fifth position. We just haven't seen on really nail his conditioning. I don't think ever in his entire career. No one will deny that he has a beautiful structure. He's got to bring the conditioning to the stage. He brings Cody Montgomery conditioning. He may win this show. So pretty good top five here in Japan. You know, it's, uh, you know, for the end of the year, we're in November. We never saw shows this late. Now we're seeing pro shows. Juan Morel ends the year with a high note and a lot of momentum going into 2020. Congratulations to all the guys out there in Japan. And congratulations to Hide Yamagishi for running a great IFBB Pro Men's Open show. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle News Update. 